Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. We've been talking about all things relationships this week, so much so that we call this People Week at Hope for Today. Today, today, one of the uncompromising virtues of good spiritual living is how you show it with people, okay? And it's hard because at the end of the day, we're all sinners, we're all broken. And I, as I always say, people do peopleish things. And so how do I show up consistently in such a way to show Christ, glorify Christ, and thereby truly be a blessing in my relationship? Yesterday we said the first lesson is that you gotta be charitable, right? You gotta be a blessing, meet people's needs. But secondly, if you want good relationships, if you want good or walk with people, you gotta be truthful. Be truthful. John uh, chapter 8, uh, Jesus is giving a wonderful sermon here. Uh, and he says right here in the text, verse 32, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. And of course, Jesus here is talking to people who were naysayers and against the gospel. And Jesus said, this truth will set you free. He's speaking of the greater truth. But I think there's also a life day to day uh, practical principle that you and I can take from that. That at the end of the day, if you want blessing, be truthful. If you want closeness and intimacy with people, be honest. If you want growth and if you want depth and if you want meaning, okay, out of your relationships, show up with honesty. The truth will make you free. I think we're guilty of the guy who had a sore knee and went to the doctor. And when the doctor asked him what's wrong, what's wrong, he said, I'm out of breath. And at the end of the day, it's real hard for the doctor to do what they need to do in your life if you're not telling them where it hurts. And I find that too many people in relationships never really reach that level of depth and partnership and fluidity and meaning, and not because they don't want to, but because they don't want to be truthful and vulnerable and honest. Where are you with that today? Does your spouse really know what's going on with you and how you're feeling about something? The people at your job, do they understand, you know, what it is you really bring to the table? Have you really been honest about the things you're thinking about and the vision and the plans that you have? Or have you held some of that back? At the end of the day, your relationships will go as far as the honesty you bring to them. Honesty and truthfulness is absolutely everything. Uh, in ancient times, in antiquity, in Greek culture, uh, they loved theater. But in theater in ancient times, women were not allowed, okay, to be actresses. And so men literally played every role, including those of women. And what the men would do to portray the fact that they were playing this female role, is they were literally put on masks to convey that they were actually playing a different part. Guess what the Greek name that they gave to the actors was? Hypocrite to put on a mask and not show who you really are was considered hypocritical. And maybe you're in a relationship right now, but it's not the real you that's showing up, it's the person with the mask on. I wanna encourage you that your intimacy will go as far as the truth you bring to the table. Take the mask off and wear who you are for Christ's sake. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.